Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Shrek, and today I'm introducing a new game that I have not yet reviewed on my channel. I've kind of been absent from creating new content, and that's partly because I've been learning this game. This is a complex game, mostly because of the programming element. Uh, this game uses Lua scripts to program things. I've been learning the program and learning the game. They just came out with a new update, and I figured it would be appropriate since I don't see it elsewhere. There's a lot of questions about this new update. The new update is about modular engines. The game generally has three basic engines that you can use throughout the game, not including motors. It's got three sizes of, of electric motors and three sizes of diesel engines. So here I've spawned into my creative bench, and let me go into the bench. I'm going to to show you what engines there are. So you can see there's three engines. There's a small engine, a medium engine, and a large engine. And you can see their power outputs drastically change with the size. Their mass also drastically changes. So a lot of stats change. What their requirements are also change. They also have three sizes of electric motors. So recently they came out with this modular engine update with uh, basically three different sizes of engines here, all built in components that you can build your engine however you want. And you start with a crankshaft, here are the crankshafts, different sizes of crankshafts, and you put cylinders on top of them and then you need to increase, you need to give them airflow, fuel flow, uh, cooling, electric, and then you need to control it somehow. There is uh, not a lot of information out there yet, but I have built a test bench to compare generic types of engines. My test bench isn't necessarily finished, but I can show you the types of engines that we have here. So spawn it in. Silver things are cylinders. I've got two opposing cylinders on each side, one there, one there, one there, one there, around the crankshaft. So this is essentially a boxer engine, a flat four. I've also done an inline four. I did not do an inline six. I did a V6. I did a V8, and I can't necessarily do funny angles. It's all in 90 degrees, so the V8 is at a 45 degree angle. So is the V6. All of these are the V10, so it's just five cylinders on the top, five on the side. I got a V12, and then I didn't do a W12. I did a W24. I doubled the V12. And that's just two engines side by side connected in general to keep things consistent. I have the same cooling for all these. I have the same airflow, which is one air intake and one exhaust. I have the same starter, the same clutch, and I've got a torque meter. With this one, I because there's double everything, I did do one on each side for air and for fuel. And I had to include two clutches going to one torque meter. It's just the way I had to do it because of the limitations of the game. So I've set all this up. You don't really need to know a lot of detail about what all these dials are, but it's just measuring stuff like the radiator temperature, which is that. The temperature measured from this probe underneath of the engine itself. Air to fuel ratio, you can change that with this dial. Usually I like it at 50%. It's two to one. I have the throttle, which is measured on this dial. It's labeled as air um, just because that's the way these work is you control how much air is going in and then you match that with the fuel. That's what this dial does. I have a little computer here that automatically does that. Uh, battery charge, revolutions per second of the engine. Clutch engagement, which is controlled here for all of them. So I have the fuel level here, that's this yellow tank. Here I have horsepower calculated, torque from the torque meter, and torque RPS from the torque meter. Again, just numerical versions of the same thing right here, where the torque is in a numerical display, horsepower, and uh, same thing just for these dials. This is repeated on all of these for simplicity. I can compare the power output of each of these to the relative stock engines that the game had before. So this is a small engine, again, just one air intake, one exhaust. Cooling's the same, again to keep it simple. I have a different clutch because the other clutch for these doesn't work for these, but I have a torque meter on it. Uh, all, all the same readouts so that I can measure it. I get stuck. I'm stuck. So that I can measure the, um, hey! <laughs> so that I can measure all of the same metrics. This is a medium engine. You can see it's quite a bit larger than that one, it also requires two exhausts. Oh goodness. So it has two exhausts, one output there, one output there. I just combined them to one pipe. Uh, the air is right there and the power goes right out there. And this is the large engine and it is large. This is for like ships and stuff. I've never used this in game. Same cooler. The cooler is probably way too small for this engine, but I'm only going to run it for a minute. Two exhausts, one air intake, and then the fuel. Over here is the power output to uh, a torque meter and a clutch. So when I turn all this on, it's all going to be controlled 
from here, ignore this. This is me trying to measure fuel economy. This is the engineering side of me coming out. I'm trying to measure the fuel economy and I'm trying to program Lua code to figure that out and it's not easy. I'm not a programmer. So anyway, I'll start this up. I'll show you all of the engine outputs for horsepower and torque. So I'm gonna go into the microcontroller, which is on all of these. This controls the horsepower calculation. So in it, I have the revolutions per second, the torque, and outputs the horsepower. If I go into the logic, the calculation is the torque, which is X, times the RPM. So I have revolutions per second, which is Y. I've multiplied it by 60 because I need it per minute, divided by a constant of 5,252. That's the horsepower calculation with torque and revolutions per minute. It outputs the horsepower here with this formula, which then goes out the output here and displays on the displays that we have on each of these displays here and also the horsepower display here. Let me spawn this back in and I'll start it up. Uh, to control the throttle very precisely, I have a keypad. I'm gonna type in 0.15, so 15% of throttle. The way these work, if there's no load and there isn't really much load on these engines, a little bit of throttle is gonna spin it up to 100% RPM anyway. You're just gonna blow it up. So I'm do giving it very little throttle. I've experimented. It doesn't really matter much with the horsepower and, and torque outputs, what the throttle is when there's very little load on it. So I've set the throttle to 15%. Gonna start it up. Now they're all running. And I'm gonna engage the clutch. So now that is very loud. Okay, so I engaged the clutch, I started them up. Now you can see the horsepower and the torque outputs. So the Boxer Flat 4 at 15% RPM, and you can see the, the revolutions per second is 32. Starts at about 178 liters, so this is consuming very little. Uh, you have a torque of 6.4 and 2.4 horsepower. The inline 4 is a little bit less horsepower, a little bit more torque. You can see 7.8 and 2.1, essentially one. The V6 uh, double, or just increases. It's got two extra cylinders and it's only got about a half uh, of extra torque, but it's uh, more horsepower, like double the horsepower with two extra cylinders. So we're at 4.2 there. The V8, and this is these just start stepping up with the extra cylinders. The V8 is uh, 5.9 horsepower and about 10.2 torques. The V10, comparing it to the V8, is 7.5 horsepower, 12.1 torques. The V12, and it just keeps stepping up, 9.1 horsepower is 14 torques. And the W24 is basically double. It's 18.5 uh, horsepower and 27 torques. So the horsepower over doubled, just more than doubled, and the torques didn't quite double. So comparing that to the stock engines, the small engine is two horsepower and 11 torques. So it's quite a torquey little motor. Compare that to the inline four, you have two horsepower versus 2.6 in the stock and seven torques versus 11 torques up there. Um, I, you don't match the torque output until you get to like the V10 here. Uh, maybe a V9, <laughs> is that a thing? Might match the torque output there. But the horsepower is very weak. It's, it's not a very powerful motor. Uh, you go to the medium motor and you got 6.9, basically seven horsepower and 30 torques. So these are all very torquey. I got something dying here, it might be out of gas. Yep, the W24, no surprises, out of gas. Um, let's see, this one's almost out of gas. So the large engine, and you can see the difference in fuel consumption, these are at the same throttle. That is three quarters full. That is almost done. You can see that has 22 horsepower and 97 torques, which is triple what the medium engine does, which is essentially triple what the small engine does. So that's your comparison. I didn't do a single stroke or Two stroke. I didn't do an inline six. Uh, those are other common motors, and I can do those. I also didn't do a W12, uh, just because I'm running out of space on this workbench to have a proper presentation. Um, I'm just going to turn all this off here because it's loud. 
that's just turning off the throttle. I'll disengage the clutch. Oh, that's better. So there it is, and I'll put this all in the description below, but the outputs of these motors, um, a little comparison of what you can build. You can of course build whatever motor you want with this modular tech, but I just built some common standard motors that are common in the real world, or more common. Uh, W24 isn't really common, but it does exist. If you like this video, please, uh, please click the like button. Go ahead and comment if I did anything wrong or you uh, want to see a specific motor, I'd be happy to build it for you. Uh, any questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I will be putting out more Stormworks content in the future. And I hope you like this video. I'm Shrek. Thanks for watching.